Back here at Stevenson University with uh, head coach Todd Cavallero. What went wrong there defensively? A lot of action on the other side in the first half, and you guys were able to stick with them, but just a slow start. What do you attribute that to? I think it was a slow start, and I don't know if we were feeling the effects of yesterday and, and, and a good Amherst team, but we just didn't get out of the gates initially, and, and we played a ton of defense. I think uh, – you know, there's six or seven penalties. We didn't control our sticks the right way. Uh, we lost a lot of faceoffs in the first half. You know, so I, I really I felt like if we if we can get more touches, we might be able to go uh, one for one with them. But we didn't seem to get a lot of touches in the first half. And out of the 30 minutes, I'm pretty sure we played about 21 minutes of defense, which puts a lot of pressure on our defense. And they're well coached. Dennison did a fantastic job of exploiting us a little bit. We we played pretty good for about a minute, two minutes. Uh, but then when we broke down, uh, they seemed to, to find an answer and put the ball in the back of the net. Any positives you take away offensively? Offensively, I think our attack uh, different than yesterday. Our attack never got going yesterday. Our attack got going a little bit today. Uh, but all in all, I, I think, you know, when you lose that many face-offs, we just couldn't find a way both days. We really couldn't find a way to, to dig up GBs and gave them so many extra possessions. We had some failed clears in there as well. But offensively, I think our attack got going. Uh, but all in all, we need more possession, more touches. And, and when we play that much defense, it's going to be tough for us. Any specific points of emphasis this week heading into next weekend? It's going to be all about uh, you know getting back to the basics. It's it's going to be ground balls, um, digging up face-off wins. Uh, anytime we get a stop at the defensive end, it must be an opportunity on offense. Uh, we need a little bit more movement on offense. I think it's this was a great weekend overall. You know, a little disappointed to go 0-2 for sure. I think we can play much better than what we did this weekend, but it's going to well prepare us for the Centennial Conference. So I think we're going to we're going to dive into both films and uh, figure out a lot about ourselves. And just like I told the team, we're going to go one way or the other. You know, we could look back at the end of the year and say, wow, those two losses really prepared us for the Centennial Conference, and hopefully. What, what lies ahead and, and possibly NCAA uh, tournament type stuff. Um, you know, I told them it's yet to be determined. We'll figure out what this weekend is. I'll let them know at the end of the season what this weekend did for us. Um, I, I do like the fight that we had at the end of the game um, as, as far as fighting to come back. Uh, and, and, and there was no giving up on this team, which is something you can't teach. And uh, hopefully we learn about uh, a lot about ourselves in the next, uh, in the next couple days and, and get ready to start a conference. All right, Coach. Thanks for your time. You got it.